it could be terrible and it could be great. It's not clear. Right. But one thing is for sure, we will not control it. Artificial Intelligence, Google, DeepMind, AlphaGo. So today we are going to discuss about those aspects. So before starting, just make sure that you subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can able to get latest updates when I upload a new video on this channel. So guys, Go is arguably the most complex board game in existence. Its goal is very simple, surround more territory than your opponent. This game has been played by humans for the past 2500 years and is thought to be the oldest board game still being played today. However, it's not only humans that are playing this game now. In 2016, Google's DeepMind AlphaGo beat 18-time world champion Lee in 4 out of 5 games. Now, normally a computer beating a human at a game like chess or checkers won't be that impressive, right? But Go is different. Go cannot be solved by brute force. Go cannot be predicted. There are over 10 raised to power 170 moves possible in Go. To put things into perspective, there are only 10 raised to power 80 atoms in universe. So, AlphaGo was trained using data from real human Go games. It ran through millions of games and learned the techniques used and even made up new ones that no one had ever seen. That is very impressive alone. However, what many people don't know is that only a year after AlphaGo victory over Lee, a brand new AI called AlphaGo Zero beat the original AlphaGo. Not in 4 out of 5 games, not in 5 out of 5 games, not in 10 out of 10 games, but beat AlphaGo 100 to 0, 100 games in a row. The most impressive part, it learned how to play with zero human interaction. This technique is more powerful than any previous version. You are thinking, why? Because it isn't restricted to human knowledge. No data was given, no historical figures were given, with just the bare bone rules, that's it. AlphaGo Zero surpassed the previous AlphaGo in only 40 days of learning. In only 40 days, it surpassed over 2,500 years of strategy and knowledge of humankind. It only played against itself and is now regarded as the best Go player in the world, even though it isn't a human. But wait, if this AI learned how to play without any human interaction, made up strategies of its own and then beat us with those strategies, then that means there are more non-human knowledge about Go than there is human. And if we continue to develop artificial intelligence, then that means there's going to be more and more non-human intelligence. Eventually, there's going to be a point where we represent the minority of intelligence. That's scary. But today, AI learned how to recognize faces. It learned how to recognize voices. It learns languages and then will eventually translate between them all seamlessly. This knowledge and information brain could continue until it has gone through all 100% of its data. This is why artificial intelligence is such an important topic. Super intelligent AI is the last invention that humanity will ever make. Google acquired DeepMind several years ago. DeepMind operates as a semi-independent subsidiary of Google. The thing that makes DeepMind unique is that DeepMind is absolutely focused on creating digital superintelligence an AI that is vastly smarter than any human on Earth and ultimately smarter than all humans on Earth combined. The DeepMind system can win at any game. It can already beat all the original Atari games. It is superhuman. It plays the games at super speed in less than a minute. DeepMind's AI has administrator level access to Google's servers to optimize energy usage at the data centers. However, this could be an unintentional Trojan horse. DeepMind has to have complete control of the data centers, so with a little software update, that AI could take complete control of the whole Google system, which means they can do anything. They can look at all your data, you can do anything. The technology and development that could possibly turn the human species into immortal godlike figures is, coincidentally, the same technology that could also cause the downfall of humanity. Many people are resistant to the AI because they fear it may have some of the negative traits that we humans do. Like, it may be greedy, it may lie, it may be selfish, it may be rebellious, it may be short-tempered. The power of super-intelligent AI is there, patiently waiting to be found. 
But the question is, do we actually want to find it? If we want the future to be perfect, if we want to create the perfect super intelligent AI, we need to be prepared for what's coming in future. So guys, that's it in this video. If you like this video, give a great thumbs up and subscribe the channel to get all the latest updates. So guys, see you in next video.